Hello everyone, welcome to my political journalism news channel. The story for today is Scott Morrison has been accused of stage managing his visit to flood affected areas in New South Wales, as climate action protesters wait for him at a press conference. The Prime Minister landed in Lismore today to declare a national emergency to speed up the response and the help the ADF can provide. But it was his officer's decision to leave the travelling media off the invite list to some events that sparked accusations he is trying to avoid a repeat of his visit to bushfire affected towns in 2020, including Cabago. Fed up Lismore locals were spotted waiting outside the local emergency operations centre, where Mr Morrison is due to hold a press conference, holding climate action signs. Seven News political editor Mark Riley said that the travelling media was not told of the visits near Lismore today. Scott Morrison has visited a farm near Lismore and an says operations base this morning and will soon visit houses affected by floods. Media have not been allowed to film the visits, he said, media was not told of visits by the Prime Minister to a flood-affected farm and an says base until after they had happened. The PM's official photographer was there. A spokesman for the Prime Minister said the media had been invited to two media events to an emergency centre in the afternoon and a flood-affected business but confirmed he was also doing other visits. The Prime Minister's office said he wanted to pay his respects and say thanks privately without multiple cameras descending on the homes of flood survivors. In 2020, a furious firefighter refused to shake his hand and the incident was caught on camera. A pregnant woman also refused to shake his hand saying she would only do so if he gave more money to the Rural Firefighting Service. Earlier, Deputy Prime Minister Barnaby Joyce told Sky News that the government was bracing for blowback when they visit farms that have spent days without food, power and clean water. People are incredibly vulnerable and it's understandable that they want to express the pain that they're going through, Mr Joyce said. I would be incredibly surprised if people got a happy reception because they're not happy, they're not in a happy place. They want to be heard and that's the main thing you do, you try your best to listen to them and say, OK, how can we better make the things you require fit the things that we're doing? That's politics and that's just being human. In 2020, the Prime Minister visited Cabago and met with locals and firefighters at the town's emergency centre. During the meet and greet, he walked up to a fireman who was taking a break and attempted to shake his hand. But the man, who is believed to have lost his own home in the blaze, refused, simply looking at Mr Morrison's outstretched hand and shaking his head. I don't really want to shake your hand, he can be heard saying in a short clip, Mr Morrison then leaned down to touch the man's hand before the firefighter pulled it away and ignored the Prime Minister, who awkwardly started to walk away and pat the man on the shoulder. In Cabago, a pregnant woman also told him, I'm only shaking your hand if you give more funding to our RFS Rural Fire Service. So many people have lost their homes. We need more help, she said, as the Prime Minister walked away. A group of residents later yelled at the Prime Minister with a volley of expletives as he left the area in 2020. You won't be getting any votes down here buddy, you're an idiot, that is all for today news. Thank you for watching to my channel, please be sure to leave your comment and subscribe below for more news update.